We will talk about signs and symptoms of kidney dysfunction. Normally kidneys filters blood and it excretes toxins from our body, excretes water also and some minerals. It's normal. What is the most common symptom of kidney dysfunction is frequent urination. And frequent urination most commonly is caused by intake lots of water. It's normal. It's okay. Second most common cause what causes frequent urination is urinary tract infection. During this stage, kidneys can be involved or, or it can happen without kidney involvement, but it's still most common symptom of kidney dysfunction is frequent urination. What we call frequent urination, it means if person goes to toilet more than every three to four hours or if person will wake up uh, during the night several times for urine it's also frequent urination and frequent urination usually is caused by urinary tract infection why it happens because bacterial infection causes irritation of bladder bladder will contract because of this irritation and it causes frequent urination and sense of urgency Sometimes prostate enlargement also causes frequent urination. Why it happens? Because enlarged prostate compress bladder and it causes also frequent urination. Second most common cause, the mo most common symptom of kidney dysfunction is swelling hands and feet. And uh, why it happens? It happens because of uh, kidneys. When kidneys are damaged, they leakage proteins normally they should not excrete proteins for, from our body so we lose proteins when we lose proteins we have less proteins in the blood when we have less proteins in the blood fluid flows towards tissues from the blood that's why we have swelling and we have edema this condition is called edema and usually uh, hands arms legs and feet are swelling and it is called edema you can see it's edema so uh, what causes what causes this swelling usually and what diseases are most common uh, most common cause of swelling hands and feet is neprotic syndrome neprotic syndrome happens due to different causes uh, it is caused by viral infection in case of children. So if children have neprotic syndrome, so if, if they have such dysfunction of uh, kidney, they have swelling, usually it is caused by viral infection, post-viral infection, and in many cases it's reversible and it's not a problem in many cases. Uh, but if it happens in adults, it is caused by diabetes usually or autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus erythematosus or amyloidosis or different conditions also. Uh, it's more, much more serious in adults. So swelling, hands and feet and different parts of body commonly is caused by kidney problems. It's important. What is the third most common symptom it's for me urine uh, why it happens for me urine it happens because when when kidney is dysfunction as we said our body loses protein when proteins interact with the air they create these bubbles and we have for me urine sometimes dehydration also causes for me urine uh, because our urine is more concentrated as, as this case and it can create also some bubbles and full bladder also causes because of stronger stream when person is urinating it can also create some bubble and some foamy urine so they are normal cases they are physiological but if there is proteins in the urine and there is albumin in the urine it's already pathological why it happens in most cases it happens because of bladder infection most common cause of foamy urine is bladder infection.
if it's pathological. Fourth most important symptom and most common symptom of kidney uh, disease is puffy eyes. Uh, why puffy eyes happens? Puffy eyes happens because of losing protein again. And usually it is caused by nephrotic syndrome also, glomerulonephritis or recent infection also. It's common uh, and it's more common among uh, older adults when our skin also loses elasticity and puffy eyes is more prominent and kidney is damaged over time. And fifth most common symptom is blood in the urine. Uh, blood in the urine can be caused by different condition like urinary tract infection or kidney stones or glomerulonephritis or polycystic, polycystic ovary syndrome. Uh, polycystic, uh, polycystic kidney disease, not our syndrome. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes. So uh, it's blood in the urine. It's common also, uh, but we should be careful uh, because it can be sign of key important kidney damage. And kidney pain is another symptom, another important symptom. It's sixth important symptom. And um, what uh, what kind of pain is kidney pain. It is called flank pain. Flank pain means that side and lower back area between the rib and hip somewhere here. Side and back area somewhere here we have pain. It is called flank pain. Sometimes it's more severe, very severe uh, pain and it's difficult to tolerate sometimes. Uh, what causes kidney pain? Usually it's happened because of kidney stones or kidney infections, which is called pyelonephritis. And seventh most common symptom of kidney problem is oliguria. Oliguria means uh, decreased urine production. And what means decreased urine production? How we can guess that the person has decreased urine production? Uh, they have uh, uh, they have thirst, dry mouth, dark urine sometimes a dizziness, sometimes lightheadedness. So actually it's it's not specific for oliguria. The symptoms is not specific and it's difficult, but person can notice that his urinate, urinate much fever than usual. It's oliguria. And oliguria is caused by dehydration in many cases when person intake less fluids and sometimes acute kidney damage uh, due to toxins, uh, it's important and in many cases it's reversible. And technically, oliguria is defined when urine production is 500 milliliters per 24 hours. Now let's say what test we have for assessing kidney function. Most important test is creatinine. Creatinine is byproduct of protein breakdown. In our body, when proteins are break down, creatinine is created, and creatinine should be excreted, uh, excreted by our kidneys normally. But if our kidney is dysfunctional and can't excrete creatinine um, adequately, creatinine level increases, and it's sign of kidney disease. And we have another test. It is called estimated glomerular filtration rate. It's also based on creatinine test and uh, also its estimation and uh, consideration with sex, ethnicity and age and it is calculated from creatinine. And uh, urea nitrogen test, it's less specific. Creatinine is most widely used and most uh, specific test. Uh, estimated glomerular filtration rate is uh, helpful when you want to define stage of kidney dysfunction, kidney disease. When you have uh, chronic kidney disease, you can define stage of kidney disease with estimated glomerular filtration rate. And urea nitrogen test is less specific test. So um, what causes this increased uh, creatinine level? Chronic kidney disease is most important disease responsible on high creatinine level diabetes, hypertension, sometimes medications, 
but most important and most common is chronic kidney disease which is caused by diabetes and hypertension in many cases it is gradual deterioration and degradation of kidney function and our uh, aim and goal is to slow down this degradation process thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now